All right, so it's three after. Why don't we go ahead and get started? And so our theme for this month for meditation is journey meditations. And so unlike some of the other practices that we do, which is very much about what's going on in our bodies or you know, doing some technique or something that's meditative, this is about imagining yourself in certain spaces and really just letting yourself be there. And there is an intelligence behind like what kind of spaces I call you into in these journeys. You know, it's, it is meant to be a deepening in toward your, your deepest center of consciousness. And you'll kind of get an experience of that today, hopefully. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a wonderful way to create a place in your mind that is visual that you can return to when you feel like you need to ground. And so we often in these, ses these sessions try to create some semblance of higher consciousness or self-consciousness or whatever we might call it at the given time. But this one creates a visual place for you to ground yourself in and hopefully return to it again and again whenever it feels like it's a place that you need to go to. So that's a great thing to do. Um, for this practice, again, I'll be having you imagine search certain settings, and I want you just to see what comes up and accept it for as it is. So um, it could be tempting when I say imagine yourself on a beach to do the work of creating the beach. Like, where are the rocks? Where are the waves? You know, kind of like creating um, the scene from from effort. And I want you to not effort. When I say imagine yourself on a beach, I want you just to see yourself on a beach, however that comes up for you in your mind. All right. So it's kind of like a letting go. I say, see it, don't draw it. <laughs> so that's what's going to happen. Um, later in this practice, today's practice, I'll be asking you in a vis visualization to go underwater. Now, I want you to know that when I ask you to do that, that you can still breathe. <laughs> and it's funny, but uh, I've, had, I've had some folks who have done this with me before who have mentioned that it wasn't obvious to them to, to keep breathing or like the intuition for them is to hold your breath when you go underwater. Keep breathing. I'll remind you when we get to that point, but just to give you that, that awareness right off the bat here. So I think that's all the, the, the touching base I want to do around the practice. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. So closing your eyes, uncrossing your legs, feet on the floor, settle into your chair. And just taking a couple of deep breaths. And feel your feet on the floor, your seat in the chair. And an awareness of your body here, resting here today. Noticing where there's tension. Noticing where there is not tension. And for the spaces in your body that do feel tensious, see if it's tension that you can simply let go of. So for example, unclenching your jaw, relaxing your lips, unflaring the nostrils and nasal passages, Unsqueezing the eyes. Relax the space behind your eyes. The forehead. And any other facial muscles, just let go of that effort. Allow your vocal cords to unconstrict, relax that throat. Sometimes we keep the 
vocal cords tense just in case we need to speak up and say something. In this moment right now, you don't have to. So just relax the vocal cords. And feel your shoulders drop away from your ears. Your arms and hands relax, unclenching your fists. The muscles of your chest soften. And your belly relaxes, ungripping, unclenching, untightening those muscles in and around your abdomen. Same for the muscles of your pelvis, let go. Release, soften. Relax your glutes, untense your legs. Sometimes the legs stay tense just in case you have to get up and run. You do not have to get up and run right now. Relax the legs, your ankles, and relax the gripping of your feet. Your, bo your body becoming more effortless. And notice your breath in your body, the sensation of the breath in the nasal passages and at the throat, the feeling of your body expanding and relaxing. And notice if letting go of effort in your body has helped you to let go of effort in your mind. So touch base with the mind. What is the state or quality of your mind in this moment? What thoughts, feelings, emotions, and movement or non-movement is present? holding this awareness of the mind, not to judge it or criticize it for being in any particular way, but just aware of the mind as it is in this moment. And maybe there is some tension in the mind, some worry or care or concern that at least for this practice, you can just set aside and let go of. Just as you let go of tension in the body, letting go of tension of the mind. And then go ahead and drop your awareness down to the movement of your abdomen. Feeling the belly expand and contract. 
and beginning to relax the movement of your rib cage and chest, breathing as best you can exclusively to the abdomen. And as you breathe through the belly, you might notice again, some tension being held there. And again, see if you can relax that tension. Let go of that effort. Now anatomically, what's happening here as you breathe to your abdomen is that when you inhale the diaphragm, the muscle underneath the lungs that helps you breathe, it draws downward, causing the belly to expand. And as you exhale, the diaphragm just relaxes back to its neutral place. So become aware of that movement, the movement of the diaphragm. Inhale, feeling it draw downward toward your root. And exhale, feeling it relax to neutral. Inhale, diaphragm drawing downward toward the root. And exhale, relaxing to neutral. And just keep your mind trained on this movement of the diaphragm, not so much the belly, but the diaphragm itself. And we'll add one more component to this awareness. As you inhale, draw the diaphragm toward the root and then hold the breath for three, two, one. Exhale, relax the diaphragm to neutral and hold it there for three, two, one. Inhale, diaphragm draws downward. Holding, three, two, one, relax the diaphragm. Holding at neutral, three, two, and one. Please continue holding the breath in and out for the count of three, aware of that movement of your diaphragm.
And as you complete this next hold after exhale, you can let go of the counting or the holding. You can allow your awareness to drift away from the diaphragm and to become aware of your whole body and the space occupied by your body. And I'd like you to feel your body standing on a beach facing the ocean. What does it look like to be standing on this beach facing this ocean? What does it feel like, sound like, smell like? See it as clearly as you can. And as you stand here on this beach facing this ocean, you feel a familiar tug deep within you, compelling you to move toward the water. You know this feeling, you trust it, you've felt it before. And so you walk to the water and step into the ocean the water lapping up around your feet and ankles, your shins. And you move deeper and deeper in to your thighs, your waist. As you reach your chest, you realize that you're not buoyant, that you can continue to walk on the seafloor. You continue in up to your neck. And as you're completely submerged, you can still breathe. And you see the sparkling of the light on the surface of the water above you. And how it diffuses into the water, growing darker the deeper you see, and you continue on toward the darkness, not afraid, curious. Further in, The water around you growing dimmer and dimmer as you move further and further away from the surface. And as you get to a point where you can barely see in front of you, the C4 levels out. And in front of you, you can barely make out the opening of a cave. The space inside the cave, one shade darker than the space around it. where you're heading is into the cave. And you don't fear the darkness. You have no need to fear the darkness. You step into the cave. And you keep going, placing a hand on the wall the stone underneath your hands and fingertips. 
and guiding you along until you're finally shrouded in complete darkness, moving further and further in. A calmness comes over you. And as it does, you begin to see a faint light in the distance. And you move closer to that light. And as you do, the light begins to grow. Eventually, you're able to make out that the light is an opening to the other side of this cave. You're almost to your destination. As you approach the light, you step out of the cave and you find yourself in your most peaceful place. your most peaceful place. What does that look like? Just see it, however it comes to you, without question. Look around. What's here in this most peaceful place? Allow yourself to just explore this peace. As clearly as you can. And the longer you stay in this place, the more peaceful and at ease your entire being becomes. And whether you've been here before or not, you understand that this place has always been here. And you're grateful for that. After a time, you find a spot that's just perfect to sit and just be with this peace. And so you do, you sit and you close your eyes and you just let yourself be steeped. Feelings of relief and gratitude come over you a deep, deep sense of calm. So grateful to be in this most peaceful place, deep at the center of you. Knowing that this is your place and that you can always come here. As you rest here, you remember 
that somewhere in some other place, your body is sitting meditating. And still identified with this piece, you allow your consciousness to move back into that body. Knowing that if you ever need to drop into that most peaceful place, that it's there for you if you simply remember it. In this body here, you feel your feet on the floor and your seat and chair, your breath moving gently. And when you feel ready, please begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. And bring your palms together, rubbing them together. And take the heated palms over the eyes for a moment, brushing over the top of your head and down your neck. Slowly bringing yourself back to the space around you. <clears throat> 